Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 Career Mode, episode number 34. We're wrapping up a sponsor objective, which is Perry Nice. We need to win a stage. We have not done so yet. It's stage 7 of 8. Today's actually the type of day where we might have a chance on this one. It depends on three climbs. First of which is right now. I don't think this one should impact as much. However, the breakaway was 12 riders. It's a little big. The field is chasing it down pretty hard. And you can see that fatigue is setting in as we're getting a lot of blinking red action with our guys even riding at a 78, uh, 77 as we climb up this. And you can see Rodriguez and Moreno are both slipping back pretty hard. Uh, let's help those guys along a bit. Uh, Rodriguez caught behind somebody here uh, so we don't get dropped. The other two come later in the stage. Now the reason why I do like my chances a little bit today is outside of a flat finish for the last couple of kilometers there's a quick descent that uses little to no energy. If I can get a group of riders, if I have three or four guys left over the top the of the rider. final category one the climb, I've got a decent chance of getting them to the front of the field gently and recovering from the top of the climb to this sprint point, pulling them to the front of the field and then attacking on that final descent. That's my goal, that's my target. We're now hitting the top of the climb. Aethil just making it through, but it looks like we will recover. There's quite a few riders out the back already, at least double digits worth. Still 128 in the peloton though. A lot of climbing to do today. This is definitely not an easy stage, but great chance for recovery now. 126k to go. Might be decent time to grab some water Aethel. Even though he's a little tired, we're going to go ahead and send him. I think he's definitely not going to make it to the end on this stage. Uh, he'll certainly be one of the ones dropped, so we'll go ahead and risk his energy in this case while everybody else recovers. Uh, remember we did lose a rider to injury. We've lost multiple riders to injury of late. We have three riders out injured. I have a fourth rider who is come down ill in the middle of a race so we are in a bad way in that regards for now let's go ahead and set this up for something a little more sustainable so category two climb pretty steep pretty short not that short though six and a half kilometers five and a half percent and the peloton is picking up more breakaway riders and losing a couple more riders out the back and you can see Aethel now fading as we ride with him, it looks like he could go straight out the back and not quite losing contact. Just hanging on for Aethel. That leaves Zeta unprotected, which means I'm probably going to want to use uh, Rodriguez now to take over. And Aethel set him to auto. 90 kilometers left. second of three back to back to back cat twos but then we also add in that big cat one that's really the biggest climb of the day majority of those who get over that one should make it in the final grouping to the end those last three riders now just a minute ahead just about to get reeled in okay Aethel once again, hang it on, but he's got a big group that's about to lose contact, and they just did. And the breakaway also got pulled in, but two new riders, Oscar Rodriguez, with somebody else attacking off the front, but that was just for KOM points. Down to 87 riders now. Now, like I said, this climb coming up, this is kind of the pivotal moment. We're going to use Rodriguez's gel right now as he is quite tired. Moreno's probably going to be taking over uh, supporting Zeta here quite soon. 
And speaking of Zeta, we're going to have to set him a little higher as he's... Well, today, actually, he's a pretty dang good climber today. Tintoni's okay. Uh, Moreno's the one the who's Peloton probably going to need to step up the pace to not lose ground on these guys. And there you go. Rodriguez now fading. Moreno's going to take over. I'm going to watch as Rodriguez drops out from the group. Down to 67. Down to 66. Another group getting dropped right now. That's another eight riders or so that are slipping out. Now just 50 riders left. Um, ooh, for Mark, that happened quick. That happened really quick for Mark. He is heading straight out the back. I would have used his gel if I had realized it was happening so quick. Moreno's also getting dropped. It's too late for his gel. So Tony and Zeta, the last one's hanging on. I didn't think we would get this small this soon. I kind of figured the 36 we have right now would be at the top of the cat one. We've gone over the cat two, but we are pretty tired here and still have one massive climb to go. I think we are going to have to use our gels. These last two guys. Pace has lifted now that it's down to just 36, though. So we're going to slow Tony down for this climb. 8K to go. One little descent there. Technically already on the climb. That's very deceiving. The statistics there on the right. Alright, let's slow this down because this is the big push. 5K to go. 33 riders now. Well, I want both of these guys to get over the top, so that's why I'm not using one to protect the other. 4K to go. 26, 28, something. There's definitely riders that are slipping out. 3K to go. Less pace. I think we'll be okay. Rodriguez attacking over the top. Again, I think he's interested in KOM more than anything else. All right, both of these guys make it over, and they will recover. That final Category 1 shouldn't be a problem. I'd say all 32, or most of the 32, should make it over the top. We also should be catching back up here to Rodriguez. We've already cut it down to 18 seconds, so half of what it was. Alright, Tony a little more tired than Zeta, but they're they're both pretty good. It is back together. So 33 riders. I think we could still attack this descent. For one thing, Tony a 75 downhill today. Uh, Zeta is a 73 today. He's got that better flat rating for the finish, plus the stamina. So uh, and resistance looking beautiful today, uh, and he's definitely a better sprinter than Tony. So Tony. I want him to attack the downhill with Zeta on his wheel all the way to the flat where Zeta can then, hopefully fresh, carry on and, if we're lucky, finish off a race victory. We're not going to win a sprint purely. <clears throat> These guys aren't quick enough, especially Zeta. Uh, sorry, uh, Tintoni. That 53 sprint is horrendously bad. I forgot to get water but uh, we'll get it as soon as we go over the top here. Yeah, 1K to go. We'll be okay. Still 26K. That's a ways to go. Okay, Zeta's near the back and fresher, so we'll have him get the water. 30 riders. We lost just a couple. That See, they're already back on. 32. So we only lost one rider. All right, Zeta. Come on. Get on through. We need you in position when this all kicks off after this little sprint point. So there are some seconds there. 5K to go to that point. Already we are recovered. I'm going to have Zeta at a... 99 following Tintoni. Tintoni. Set ourselves up. Oh, it's back together a bit. Now 39 riders as we are riding slow. This is a great time to attack, but I want to wait until we're on that 
a better section to do so and we're going to attack for this little sprint point a little early and Zeta is going to follow. Let's make both of them attack please. Off the front, can we do so? To the finish line. Or within the, the group at least. By now the guys up front Down to 14. Okay, this just got a little better. Zeta's still trying to attack. Tentoni can make this a three-man group at the front with Alpha. Like we're gonna beat those guys. Well, Kamna's not a great sprinter. It's Alaphilippe I'm worried about. That's 7481. There's no way we beat that unless we can actually get separation. But what I could do right now, look at this huge gap. If we pull up all of a sudden, we will gap that. There you go. There's three riders off the front. To Tony, you're just gonna stay right there in the group. Now, Zeta, three man break. Will they support? They will, at a 90, at an 85. We're 17 seconds away. Come on now. Philippe. you cannot be forcing me to do this, Philippe. You've got to work with me, buddy. Come on now. 15 seconds. We're looking at a potential top three at the moment, but no support. Alaphilippe's never come over the top. And it's a little late in the game, so now I'm going to have to just rely on a lead out from Tentoni to lead Zeta and hope that that gives me a chance. There's only 14 riders here. And if nobody has a lead out, 6k to go, by the way. So we gel up, especially with a bit of a descent still coming. And here comes the attacks. Somebody else is trying to go. It's Damiano Caruso. Uh, Tentoni, you're going to just 99 full gas, buddy. 4.8. They're doing what I wanted to do. And Tentoni, come on now. 3.6k. Go ahead and attack because this is that final territory. Uh, it's back together again. 38 riders. Still one away. He's got 2k on us. Or Wellens. Tim Wellens has just that little bit of an advantage. Now, Zeta is set up nicely. But, Alphalip's right there. That's going to be really hard to beat. Wellens is going to be hard to beat. But Zeta has a nice lead out. What a terrible takeoff on the line, though. Velens hangs on. He does what I wanted to do, but Alaphilippe, you can see just how much quicker he is. Zeta's in a good spot, but it's still only going to be 10th. So we still only claim 10th on the stage, uh, but Tintoni's there as well. That's still a small group, and we'll certainly maintain our 6th overall, but our chance of that stage win went when we tried to sprint away and I, I got that gap created thanks to Tintoni and maybe right maybe if I would have just kept attacking with Zeta all the way down we get down to you know the finishing area still with a gap very well might have happened but then guaranteed we only finished third because we would have a expended all of our energy anyway wouldn't have been able to attack but guaranteed al philippe was gonna smoke us at the finish line if he's just sitting on he's gonna beat us in a sprint no matter what so we weren't gonna win the stage that way i needed him to support and commit and pull away but I, the problem with that was the one guy knew that Alaphilippe was going to beat him, so he wasn't willing to work. And that Alaphilippe, who was willing to work, was only willing to give a little because he knew he could beat everybody else in a sprint. Which he did, except for Tuvelens, who broke away very late, found that little gap, which was the same thing I tried to do. He just did it at a different time. And when he did it, only two of them made it away, but he was able to split off the other and go solo. He didn't have Alaphilippe fresh with him, so he made it work and just hung on. That was exactly what I was going for. Just 
didn't work out what did we at the time that we tried. Final stage of Perry Nice, last chance to get that stage victory. Similar stage to the last one, but the conditions are a little worse. There's not as strong of an opportunity to get away, though there is that section pretty late on, but then you still have a few extra kilometers on the flat to the finish. So it's definitely not as solid of an opportunity. Also, the climbing is not as bad, so there's likely to be more riders around at the end. But as we hit near the halfway point of the stage, we're still struggling along. Uh, already, a lot of riders are fading because the pace has been really hot for this one. It's definitely a shorter stage. Uh, we're going to have to get water one time right around the top of this climb. Nine riders in the break. They only have 30 seconds, and so they haven't gotten far away. But you go oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, Tintoni just slipped out the back. Afil, our 76 is not uh, cutting it here. I thought we were going to be at least okay over the top, and then I was going to adjust for the next one. But we did just lose uh, Afil over the back here, so we're going to have to use his... Or Titoni and Athel over the back here. They're gonna have to hustle up and get back on. Uh, they lost a lot of ground in a very short period of time there. Okay, Athel, well, grab water for you, and then we'll get Rodriguez to grab water for these guys, and I uh, need to come back on down to deal with this. So those guys slipped to the back. Uh, Tentoni was 11th overall. I definitely didn't want to lose him, but we are not getting anywhere at the moment. Come on, Azil. Uh, let's use Tentoni for a bit, and then... Okay, Azil back to the front. Okay, good. Okay, that takes care of the water. Now you're going to push hard and we'll have uh, Tintoni follow. Okay, so Rodriguez still just coming up through the field. These guys have returned to the front, which is nice. Uh, definitely want to keep them there. Not hurting Tintoni, or not that far from making it. Aethil done though, so Tintoni, you're gonna have to go. Just attack off, leave these guys behind, and then ride solo. Uh, we'll just set you to your mountain pace, 85. See if we can bridge that gap. Fly past some guys here. It looks like Moreno's done. Almost there. The is Almost there. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Ah, big group of 26. I thought we were bridging the gap, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, oh, over the top. Didn't quite make it, did we? Let's at least link up with this next group, can we? Come on. Nope. Okay, take this group. See what we can do later on. How are these guys doing? For Mark hanging on. Uh, Rodriguez is protecting him. You guys need to switch that up. We need to be protecting Zeta. And Zeta looks like he's going to be okay for Mark. Uh, if Tantoni was our highest place, I'd have like for Mark drop back and pull him forward. But that is not the case. Uh, our gap just got huge. Yeah, we're four minutes behind now. Tantoni didn't make it. Moreno has joined him. By the way, uh, you're riding solo. Yeah, there's six minutes. This group just sat up, so he's done. His 11th place is gone. And we now focus on these guys for this final stage, final climb of this final stage. We do have Zada in sixth place, so... Uh, 
We lost the bonus points for an 11th, but that's okay. Okay, Rodriguez, you're done anyway. And for Mark, do we want to try to attack over the top? And then survive the descent? is hurting Zeta. What's going? Two and a half K to go to the top the and Certainly now we need to sort of sit incident. on here. Zeta's following but Zeta's not keeping up. We gotta protect him. Okay, gel kick it in nearly to the top. Okay, this is now about survival at the moment. We're gonna protect the sixth more than we are gonna bother with uh, anything else. So switch that to protection. Uh, Rodriguez, you're done. Tantoni. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Oh, we're still on the descent. Dang, you guys haven't even started climbing. Tantoni's gonna leave a lot of people behind here shortly. Oh, Aethil's here as well. Nice. Uh, go ahead and sit on. What? I am gonna manage these three here shortly. Group of 40. All right, starting the climb. So let's just have some fun, try to get back some time. Minus two, certainly not helping anything today, but let's see what happens when we go like this. Aethil, you are Oh, and all three have their gels, so left. we'll do what we can with those guys. Rodriguez, there we go. These guys on the descent, not quite. Still going uphill, but recovering. Halfway up. Okay, you are balanced. Aethel was definitely a punchy guy, and that's why... Uh, did that. I couldn't stay on. Ah, they're 10 minutes down. You know what? Stop bothering with it. Get out of the way. Let's focus on these two guys, which all of a sudden their group's back to 57. And what do we have? Better finishing, obviously, is going to come from, in this case, for Mark. I'm going to have Zeta try to lead him out late. I don't know how we're going to beat anybody, but at least I have my two riders. So we're going to give Mark a chance on the stage. Okay. Oh, for Mark sort of used his gel too, damn. To get over the top. Alright, Zeta. Start bringing it Your forward. And of the stage. Follow. 4K to go. Nobody off the front. Now it's time to get forward. Come on now. Yeah. Alright, Zeta, start your attack. There goes the sprint. And the sprint. lead out Vermark. Which he's getting a solid lead out here. And Vermark to attack. This is the best run we've had, but here comes the quick riders. We're gonna get second. Second place on the stage the behind Quinn like Simmons. Good result. Today. We at least got a top two. Set in the middle of the group. Run, but the poor souls bringing up the rear Tony loses the a ton of time. For the Mostly my bad because if I was... I don't recommend using the helicopter mode. It's good for c cinematics. It's certainly nice for you as the viewer. 
bad for tactics. Uh, and it did not work out in our favor. Said it was 6th, Tentoni 11th. Really, it doesn't actually hurt in any substantial way. But I would have rather have had him still finishing 11th, you know? <laughs> uh, that would have been nice. Instead of finishing 8 minutes behind. That was definitely not ideal to have Tentoni lose... Ten and a half minutes on the stage. Now for the race highlights. The one that mattered. We kept him in sixth. And we got a second on the stage. Still not a win, but it, it'll go down well. So we keep that sixth, but of course that time loss ouch. Ten Tony all the way down to forty seventh. So Thibaut Pino wins the overall ahead of Julian Alaphilippe, Tom de Moulin, Lucas Hamilton, Tish Panut. We beat Primoz Roglic, Latour, Velens, Evenepoel. I mean, that, that's an outstanding result on paper, right? Sada is a... Did he level up again? I think he leveled up again. He's still a 79 overall. But he's leveled up again. He's got another, what, two, one, two points of stamina. He's got, I think, maybe one or two points of resistance again. He definitely has gone up in mountain because it was, what, 68, 69? Has he? Am I crazy? Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe it was at the turn of the year. Let's see, maybe next month. It never really shows until the turn of the month anyway. Nothing in the... Oh, hello! Under 25's jersey. Okay, is that a one the under 25's? So there you go. We got something bonus out of that. Sponsor confidence today. Super happy. Tomorrow they're going to see that we didn't win a stage, so they're not going to be as happy. Or they will. They will. Why are they so happy? We got a stage top three. We failed. But there it is. That top ten. Double plus. Results jumping up. Plus we got that Pyrenees. World Tour races. The World Tour races. Their demands are higher. Zeta's not giving us as big of a bonus for being registered. But it's incredibly important that he is registered to these races. Otherwise we get no bonus. I mean you can see this is all we have. Four sponsor objectives, three of them that has been to. And our registered writer, Eval, is not maxed out. Just like the squad one is not maxed out, and we just aren't going to get those. But right now, at this moment in time, sponsor very happy. We got a string of top 10s coming up. I think this is going to be a great opportunity for us to maybe cement this up here and then try to survive those other four before we hit the end of July. So we're settling into ninth place in the Super Prestige. It's mid-March. I think we're starting to get that general picture of where we're at for the season. And this feels about right to me. I mean, I'm, I'm strong enough, good enough to earn some decent points overall. But when you really break this down, there's something that stands out. We're only 17 in the World Tour rankings. We are overmatched in the World Tour. But I've got a strong enough, balanced enough team, good enough control over the team to get results in the like say continental races that are boosting us up so we're holding on to a top 10 super prestige but we're only 17th in world tour that feels real to me and and that's the sign of the struggle can i get enough results of some type looks like maybe we can maybe it's so early though 
And we've got some really big objectives ahead of us that are going to be tough, tough to accomplish. So we could see this fall away pretty quick because there's going to be a pretty big evaluation on those. I think the popularity of Zeta is really helping me because of that registered writers part. Keep things up. Even when we don't do well, we're, we're getting a, a bonus, a boost. So managing my calendar carefully, making a big difference. Next season, though, boy, I don't... Even with the budget increase, right? Even with that budget increase, what is it going to be? 12000 Okay. Well, I've got a few thousand still to spare from this last season because I knew if I go and sign a ton of guys, I'd be in a bit of trouble. So, what do I have? 15000 Zeta's making minimum <laughs> right now. He's going to be asking for a lot more than 20000 A lot. A lot more than 20000 So even if we sink every dollar into Zeta, it's not happening. It's just, it's not going to happen. 20000 will not be enough. 22500 will not be enough to re-sign Zeta. Not even close. So it is going to be a different team next year. Um... We are going to be without Zeta, and we're going to almost certainly be back down to Continental Pro as a result because he single-handedly pushed us up here, even though the team might develop otherwise. But the more the team develops, the more I'm going to have a hard time paying other guys like Tim Tony, who at this point I'm hoping we can pour the money into retaining him uh, and just... No Zeta, so we're going to need to try to build somebody's popularity this season. Otherwise, we're going to have a real problem next season without Zeta and nobody to step up as the regionally known or nationally known writer that he is. And then we'll be curious to keep an eye on his career with whoever he joins down the road. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.